Hi lovelies, my name is Jessica and welcome to Make a Misfit and welcome to day five of A Very Merry Justmas. If you saw yesterday's video, I did a mini Black Friday haul and I did say that today I was going to do my Hollow Taco Black Friday haul. So we've got a bit to go through. It's going to take a little bit of time. So get comfy. Um, and I'm just going to go through all of the polishes that I ordered. Um, I placed two orders, so I have them all sitting beside me. Everything came in yesterday, so perfect timing. Um, yesterday from when I'm filming this. <clears throat> Quite a few days ago from when you're actually seeing this. So, let's get into day five. Now, this bad boy is the oil pen. I ordered two of these. I placed one in each order, so I have one started already, which I should probably put on my nails. It's in my purse. Um, this one is unopened. I'll put it together later. I'm going to leave one at work and leave one at home. This one will probably be the one that goes to work with me. So I will put it together later. Um, I really like it. It's a pen. So it's got a brush tip. I got to find my bag cause I'd actually show you guys what the pen looks like, but it's so nice. Cause the oil pen that I was, or the oil that I was using before was like in a nail polish bottle. It's from Essie and I found it, it worked. It was nice. I had it in, I want to say it was Pan Your Name. Um, I still have some left in there, but it was getting really hard to use. And I didn't like the fact that it was a nail polish bottle. Whereas this is a pen, you take it on the go. It's got a lock so you can turn it on and turn it off. And it won't like release any of the oil by accident unless you forget to turn it off or lock it. Um, it's got a cap on the actual oil itself, which just popped off got a cap on the bot or on the actual pen so this is nice you might have and it comes with like there's replacement cartridges you can buy which is super nice too because you can buy a pack of two cartridges so you're not constantly buying a brand new pen it's refillable you might have to buy a new pen once in a while but you're not going to be buying a new one every time you run out of the oil which is super nice so that is the first thing that i bought times two we're going to get into the first box i love these little black boxes that, th that they come in um, everything is out of the packaging, so it's just the polishes. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, let's just get into it. Now, this isn't in any order. I just kind of place things. Some of them might be color coordinated, but it's not necessarily like on purpose. I just kind of put them in a box. So this is Crime and Punishment, which I'm actually wearing on my nails today. I am going to be redoing these later tonight. Um, so Crime and Punishment came from the Pastel and Don't Tell bundle. I was so tempted to buy the whole bundle. I, there was two that I never purchased. So you'll see the rest of them later. Um, Banana Medicine, which is the yellow. And then I can't remember what the peach one is called. Um, I, but I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the peach one. I don't know. The yellow one I still want. I just haven't bought it yet. So Crime and Punishment was the mint green. It is super beautiful. You will see this one in a little bit, but this is what it looks like. Just solid glossy taco on top. I really like this one. Next, uh, another shade that came from the pastel don't tell is too good to be blue. This is such a pretty blue shade. I'm wearing it on my toes right now, so I'm not going to show you guys, but I really enjoy this one. I love this baby sky blue. I've always adored this shade of blue, so I'm so happy that I have it in a nail polish. They had something similar from a collab that I never ended up purchasing because I wasn't quite buying Holo Taco at that point. Um, and I'm so sad that I missed out on that blue now, but this one is the closest to that. And I'm really happy that I ended up purchasing that one. Next is Silver Flake Taco, you guys. I'm so excited about this. This was released as a seasonal polish last Christmas during her 12 days of Christmas with no H, which is also happening now. Um, and I fell in love with it. I have gold flakes, so I wanted Silver Flake like just as bad. There was a couple times throughout the year I was tempted to purchase it, never did, so I ended up buying it during the Black Friday sale, and I'm really happy. I haven't worn it yet. I've only worn this Crime and Punishment and the Too Good To Be Blue, so none of these I've worn yet. Um, but this is definitely going to be a topper that I feel like I'm going to reach for consistently. Another one that I bought is Green Taffy. So this is from the OG Linear Hollow, the OG Rainbow Linear Hollow line. 
Um, this is just the green shade. I purchased this one because I was again debating it but with the green polishes that I have I love doing skittle manis especially doing like 10 different shades so one shade per nail and I like doing them sometimes by color and I have like 10 greens but when I was doing the last green skittle mani I I felt like I was missing the shade um so I ended up purchasing this one during the second order that I placed Next, we're on to another box. What do we have in here? Oh, okay. This one is Burnt, no, Amber Apathy. This is from the Dark Rainbow Linear Hollow line. I wanted this one so bad. Um, all of the yellows tend to be like the least purchased shades, but this one, seeing it online, I really wanted it, especially for like Christmas or New Year's. I placed this during the first order because I needed to make sure I had it in time for Christmas. This may be a contender for a polish um, to wear at that time. I'm also probably going to do a help me pick my holiday mani. So I might do a Christmas version and a New Year's version. So you may see this in there. I do want to try it out before that just to see how much I actually like it and if it's something that I want to include in that. But I bought this for that reason. Plus other reasons, of course. But I was really, when I saw this, I really, really wanted to wear it around the holiday season. We now have Serial Killer, which is also from the Pastel and Don't Tell bundle. I was so sad when they discontinued lavender I have it it's beautiful I have to thin it out I did buy the thinner as well I don't have that with me but I did buy the thinner that she came out with so I can actually use that to thin out a lot of my cremes I noticed that halfway down the bottle they start to thicken up a bit um, to the point where it's a little difficult for me to use it so I want to thin it out so I will be doing that with lavender but they retired that to bring in serial killer like this lighting is probably washing it out a little bit I probably should turn my ring light down a touch um but it is I'm really excited to dip into this it's so pretty in person like I cannot wait to start using this shade I feel like these are very well they're it's the pastel and don't tell bundle so they're very light springy shades actually these would go so well with my pastel dreams palette from give me glow Maybe I do need to buy that peach shade because there's a peach shade in there. Oh my God. Okay. You guys, <laughs> I didn't want to buy any more, but I'm buying more. Okay. I need to buy the peach shade. I need to buy the yellow shade. And then in the spring, I'm going to do a look with the pastel and don't tell bundle and the gimme glow pastel dreams palette. There's going to be one extra shade in the polishes, but I will figure that out at a later date. Oh my god, I just got so excited for that. Okay, moving on. We have Halogen Glow. Okay, this is a shimmer. So all of her, she has the, uniskin, the Unicorn Skin Toppers and the Shimmer Toppers. Now, each Shimmer Topper and Unicorn Skinner to, Skin Topper are like, have a sister. So you'll see um, one unicorn skin that I bought I don't have the sister shimmer for that one this is halogen glow which is sitting on top of crime and punishment here so as you can see like I'm not a hundred percent sure this might be the um solar no this is the lunar unicorn skin sister I will show you the Solar Unicorn Sister in a little bit. Um, but I think this is beautiful. This is from the Fire and Ice Bundle, which I only ended up buying the shimmers from. I still have to buy the cremes. I was going to buy the whole bundle, but uh, one of the shimmers was sold out, so I couldn't do that. So I ended up buying them separately, and then it came back in, and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, that's what that one is. This one right here is unicorn, or this is cosmic unicorn skin. So this is one of the unicorn skins. I now have two. I also have Sol or Sonic, which was a free gift last year. So the shimmer sister to this would be Polar Princess, which I do not own. But this is what one of the unicorn skins looks like. And I'm excited to try this over black because it's pink. Like you're, you're going to see the pink right there. 
I don't know if you're really going to be able to see like the green that I can see in it, but I think this would look beautiful over a black. And if you like sponge these on and mattify them, they look stunning. Especially like whether you mattify a unicorn skin or not, it looks beautiful. But when you sponge them on, it just like gives it more of an impact because you're just like layering it on top of each other. So there's more of it instead of just like a thin layer of the topper where they do it one or two times, you're like clustering. I want to, what's the word I'm looking for? Like there's just more of the topper when you sponge it on because it's more focused um, and in, in an area you can get the whole like surface area of your nail opposed to just there being like sparkle or sporadic uh, topper throughout it. So I am excited about trying that one as well next. Maybe not next, but soon. All right, what do we got in here? So this one is freezer burn. So this is also from the fire and ice bundle and this is the sister shimmer to the sonic unicorn skin that i have um it's blue it's a blue shimmer sonic is a blue unicorn skin so this is the only pairing that i have i don't have any of the other sisters um i eventually will but not yet so this is the first pair that i have and i'm excited to try this one when you look at some of the photos that they have online some of the pairings that they do I think it was this over high tea hibiscus. I was like, that's pretty much what got me to purchase this one. Plus a couple of others, but I thought it was absolutely beautiful. The next one that comes from the Fire and Ice Bundle, the last shimmer, this is Scorched Earth. And from the angle I'm looking at, I see blue. You guys see red. It's stunning. Like it's like an icy, like purpley blue with a mix of red in there. You guys see a lot more of like the red kind of orange. This is 100% Solar Unicorn Sister. I want Solar Unicorn. I think it's stunning. And the fact, this was the one that was sold out, so I couldn't purchase the bundle. Um, it was also a reward, so that's kind of why it sold out so quickly, because you got it for free if you added, added it to your cart as a reward. So it sold out real quick. I had to wait, so this one came back, and I placed it during the second order. And I... Like I, from this angle, you guys won't be able to see it, but right up here, I just see like green, a little bit of like the yellow goldish green. Like it looks stunning. I don't know if you guys are really going to be able to see everything that I can, but these shimmers are beautiful. Just beautiful. This is Modest Moss. This is just a darker green creme. This comes from the Hollow Ta or the Hollow Taco, duh. The Down to Earth bundle, which was her fall release. I was debating buying the whole bundle, but there was a few in there that I didn't want, so I only ordered a couple of them. There's a few more that I still do want, though, which I will end up purchasing, but I'm excited to finally have this one of my friends and co-workers she bought this one before I did and it looks so nice on her so I'm excited about this one because I've wanted like a darker green creme and I finally have it the next one that I bought from the down to earth bundle is fallen flake taco which is another flake taco like my silver one the gold one that I already own this one sold out so fast when the down to earth bundle was released it came back into stock, sold out again, and came back into stock, so I purchased this during the second order. This is like, you can just see all the different, it's like a multicolored uh, flake topper, which has like everything. You can see the copper, you can see the red, the orange, the yellow, like it's stunning. I'm so excited. Seeing this like mattified is beautiful over black. Can't wait. We're getting there guys. See if I did this with my other Black Friday haul, this would have been a really long video. Next we have Sunken Secrets, which is from the Dark Rainbow Linear uh, line. It's a dark blue and it is stunning. You see more of like a steely kind of blue. Um, I was like, I needed this from the moment I saw it, especially for the winter. I think it's stunning. I finally own the whole dark rainbow line. Could have just purchased the bundle when it first was released to save a little bit of money, but it is what it is. I buy them just like as I feel. 
a lot of the times too I'm not purchasing them all at once because like I'm not liking one shade at a certain point where I might like it later down the line <clears throat> so that's why I don't necessarily buy them as a bundle when they first get released I buy them here I buy them there in the long run I'm only paying an extra like couple dollars more because it's like a small discount when if she has it as a bundle uh, the discounted rate is only a few dollars off but it's so pretty. This is one that I was also going to get as a reward and give as a gift, but I only ended up getting the one and then they changed the reward so I didn't have a chance to. Um, but she's stunning. Another blue that I'm so excited I finally have because I really wanted this one for a while is Blue Freezy. This is from the original Rainbow Hollow line and this is more of like a royal blue, not as brights that I can tell at the moment but I think this is going to look stunning on my nails I cannot wait for my nails to grow just a little bit longer there's a couple shades that I'm just like on long nails I think they would be beautiful not that my nails are short they're just shorter than what I normally have them um but I think like this on a long nail even just like as a one color manicure I think would be so pretty but to do it with like a blue skittle mani that and Sunken Secrets, oh, I can't wait. Next, I have Dead Petals, which is also from the Dark Rainbow line. This is like the dark version of Magenta. I have been wanting this one since the very beginning as well. I never purchased it until, I think it was probably the first order that I did. I'm so happy that I have this one. Again, I haven't worn any of these, so I can't tell you what they look like on the nails, but you may see them at some point in the future. Um, but I am like so happy that I finally bought this one. And then this is Mint Money, which is a frosted metal. And you guys, like if you look at it in the bottle, it is stunning with the light reflecting off of it. Frosted metals, I've said it before and I've sh I think I showed you guys the ones that I wore to my friend's wedding back in September. You honestly don't, you cannot see it. Like photos don't do it justice. Videos don't even really do it justice. It's in person where you can actually see like the reflectiveness of it. When I wear gift receipt, which is just like silver, I wore it just as a one color mani, I don't know, probably a few months ago. And like one of my coworkers who came in that day um, was like, I just was like doing whatever with my hands and like, okay, you don't have to flash us. Like it was so bright, but it's just the reflectiveness and the light of it. Like you cannot go wrong with, with frosted metals. I adore them so much. They are a little bit harder to take off, not as difficult as a glitter. So I don't mind using a peely base with them once in a while, as long as the peely base stays on for a longer amount of time. Sometimes they just pop off. It just depends because that's what they're meant for. Um, so I do feel like I have to soak my nail a little bit when it comes to frosted metals and it's kind of frustrating, but it's not as difficult as a glitter. And I would a hundred times over buy frosted metals. There's a couple that I don't have because I'm not sure if I like the color so much. Um, actually, maybe there's only one. There's a new one that was just released, so I might end up be buying that one. It is a green as well. It's a darker green, so I think I'm going to end up buying it because the photos don't do it justice online, but like in person, it's just a whole nother level. I have Red Licorice, which I was debating purchasing. This comes from the OG Rainbow Hollow line. Um, but when I was going through my polishes, I only had... I think I had four reds, three or four reds. And like, I want at least five per color so I could do like a Skittle Manny with like the same color but all different formulas. And I was debating this one, but I thought that I pulled out the reds that I had and I was like, this would just look so beautiful in there. I felt like it would just kind of tie those shades together. So I ended up buying it. It was definitely debated on for a little bit, but I'm happy that I ended up purchasing that one. And then this one is Crimson Void, which is also a the deep red um, for the dark rainbow. So these two would tie my red um, polishes together, and I couldn't pass up Crimson Void. It is semi-similar to Dead Petals, but Dead Petals is more... Okay, let me see if I can show you guys without... Okay, Dead Petals is more purple and 
you can tell the difference between like in this lighting and that's crimson void so it does look a lot more red this looks a lot more purple and then there's violet nightmares which i already have which is an actual dark purple from that line so regardless crimson void again this is one that in the very beginning i wasn't like super thrilled over but like as time went on and i looked at it i just like fell in love with the shade even more and i knew that i really wanted this for the holiday season for winter time so i'm pretty sure it was the first order that i placed that i purchased it then we have two left so this is pinky swear this is the pink from the pastel don't tell bundle i needed this me pinks eyeshadow nail polish anything pink aesthetic me like this wall is pink <laughs> it doesn't match quite but the wall behind me is pink you can't tell at the moment um I needed this. I might end up purchasing this one again at a later date for my mom because I think she's really going to like this one, but I want her to see it on my nails first before I do that. I was going to get it for her for Christmas, but I decided to hold off. Um, but this is like the perfect, it's a little bit not so washed out in person, um, but it's like the perfect baby pink for me. I absolutely adore it. And then last but not least, I have Magenta Jelly, which is from the OG Rainbow Collection. And again, this is the magenta. So I have Dead Petals, which is the dark magenta version of, this was the dark rainbow. This is the OG Rainbow. This was one that I also wanted from the very beginning and I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And finally, when it went on sale for Black Friday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to purchase it. I'm going to get what I can. Uh, the OG rainbow was cheaper than like the dark rainbow. The way that they did the sale this year was a little bit different opposed to last year. I think last year everything was like the same percentage. This year it was like certain ones were more, certain ones were less. So I bought um, the ones from the original ones actually that I bought was red licorice, magenta jelly, uh, green taffy, blue freezy, and that was it. And then the dark one was um, sunken secrets, crimson void, dead petals, amber apathy, and that was it as well. So I have the whole dark rainbow line now. And out of the original rainbow line, I'm missing orange drink, which is the orange, and lemon sucker, which is the yellow. And then I would have the whole collection for that too. So I might end up purchasing those two because I saw a gradient with like the warm colors. So the red and the yellow and the orange and it looks so pretty. And I'm like, that's what gets me because there's some of these shades, um, maybe not these ones in particular, but like, Lemon Sucker, for example, I wouldn't wear on its own, but I would wear it as a Skittle Manny. Same with Orange Drink. I won't wear it on its own and do like a solid Orange Drink Manny, but I would, whoops, sorry, I would wear it in a Skittle Manny. So that's how some of my polishes, these ones, the ones I already own, some of them are like that, but I like having that option for when I want something in a Skittle Manny that I'm not going to necessarily wear all the time. So... Uh, those were 25 shades. <laughs> that was a lot. There is there is more. There's always going to be more that I want to purchase. I love these nail polishes if you haven't uh, noticed. I do have a collection video so far with my Hollow Taco nail polishes. It was my Panicare update. It was the most recent one that I did. I missed the last month's update. So I want to say it was two months ago. So if you are curious, you can go check that out. I will actually link that one down below. And as I mentioned in there, if you guys want to see a larger full collection video, because obviously polishes are always going to be coming into my collection as far as I'm aware, as long as I like them. Um, so I can definitely like expand on that, do another collection video at some point in the future once I have more than just these 25. I just showed you quickly here. But when I have more from next year, whatever, I can definitely do another Holo Taco nail polish collection video. So let me know if you're interested in that at some point in the future, I can do it. But that was everything that I purchased. Uh, this video is going on to over 24 minutes now. So I'm going to cut it off here. 
Thank you for sticking with me for through the first five days of A Very Merry Jessmas. We are moving on to day six now. So thank you so much. I will see you guys all then. Bye.